Hello there, person. Some fun stuff with Wraith Binder. And uh, let's get into sharing with it, right? What's really cool about um, the progress of Wraith Binder right now is that we've done an alpha test with my publishers. So we did an internal alpha test that got a lot of great feedback from people. And I've been working on applying that feedback to the game. Um, one of the one of one really crazy thing about game development is that when you release a game, it's the worst time to get feedback from players, right? Once you once you've released your game and you've got you get all this crazy feedback from people like, oh hey, you should I can't really read your text, or I can't really feel the impact of your hits, things like that. That's the kind of stuff you really need to get feedback on very early in your game's development. And that can happen through doing some beta tests or internal alpha tests and stuff like that. So what's really great about having um, a great publisher like Double Eleven is that we did a, we did an awesome internal alpha test. And so we were able to get that, that feedback from the game that's so critical and get it early on rather than getting it late after you've re released your game already, right? So the... Um, so the, the biggest things let's um let's close that so i can focus here for a second um some of the biggest things that people mentioned were readability of fonts the ui also readability of the health bars and um impacts so not being able to feel impacts i covered the impacts in the last video where um you could you can now hit things and it just feels way better there's a cool sound effect going on lots of bass in it the things jiggle around it's really nice um, numbers appearing everywhere so you can tell that you're doing damage to stuff and that you, you're hitting things really well there's a nice screen shake and lots of other things like that um, but this week I've been focusing on uh, getting the uh, the names to be a lot clearer so you can see that the players names are just just way way clearer than they used to be um, uh, if you look at the, like last week's video you'll be able to tell pretty fast like um, and I posted an, uh, an image on Twitter about this, like comparing the, the last um, UI or for the last like player's name and health bar to compare to the health bar now. So um, what really makes the health bar uh, and the name of each player a lot clearer is that we've got a nice solid dark outline. And if I turn on uh, grayscale, you can see that even now the my, my player's name and health bar are very, very clear. Before, they used to not be very clear at all because there was no dark outline around things. So it really tended to blend in, especially the health bar, tended to blend in with the background. Now it's super clear and you can see what, um, how much health you have at all times and how much health the enemies you have uh, too, or the enemies have. So and then also they got the numbers um, above people's heads whenever damage is happening. You kind of get an actual accurate number of what's going on. And, um, and also there, there's a nice font. So let's check out this, uh, this font is pretty sweet. Um, Photoshop. And we'll look at the old font and you can, and you can see, um, oh shoot, do I have a GIF I can show you guys here? Yeah, I think I do have a GIF of this. This will show um, the difference between, is this the one? Yeah, here we go. This is the new font. Oh, shoot. Actually, this does not show the old font. Does this one have it? Ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah. So this really shows um, the, the especially the difference between the size of the font for the player's name. And, um, oh, so it doesn't have the outline. So before, there was not even an outline um, around people's names and health bars, so you, it really tended to blend in. But this is one step. I added um, added the outlines, which really helped. And then this step is adding in the bigger font and a slightly bigger health bar. And then in this showing this uh, zoomed in and zoomed out kind of shows you what it might look like on mobile. So we're seeing that really tiny view is like, oh, okay, so that's what the name would look like if I was on mobile, maybe. So uh, and let's look, let's look at these fonts a little bit more in person here. Uh, the old font that's tiny is meant for is meant to just be the most minimal font possible and I made this for Songbringer and use this in Songbringer a lot it's been uh, very much upgraded since then but here's the old font right it didn't have all these international characters before but I've added that so 
this is a four pixels tall, right? And uh, and before it also did not have these lowercase letters. It had everything was uppercase. So four pixels tall. Um, and then thanks to a comment on Twitter about the the fonts, someone said, "Why don't you try a little bit a little bit bigger font?" And this is actually just doing one more pixel tall. It adds a huge difference in the game because we're in such huge chunky pixels. Um, just adding that extra pixel makes a huge difference. So this is what it looks like with that, uh, with this this new medium font versus the old smaller font. You can kind of get a, a feel like, wow, there's there's actually really is a pretty big difference between the two, especially when you look in the game. Um, and then also when you look at this here, this is kind of what that the new font looks like with all of the letters in place, right? And with some a few sentences too. So that's a big win. Being able to have a readable fonts and readable health bars. That's a really, really huge win. And then, so another thing that I've been working on here this week is the clarifying the game's objective. So it wasn't clear, but um, especially from the alpha feedback, people mentioned like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And, uh, and there's really not a very good tutorial yet for the game. That will help. But it's nice to have a... a some feedback right away so what you do what it does now is you pick up the blade and it tells you your objective right away objective slay other players to bind them as wraiths um, it's just it's kind of a one sentence version and I'm trying to press down the whole game's objective into just one sentence there uh, but hopefully that gets it across and then uh, and then to add to that we've got um, the number of wraiths bound in the top of the UI there above each player's name so I'm gonna go ahead and debug kill this guy what's gonna happen is I bind him as a wraith it's gonna do a plus one above my head and then the plus one is gonna shift up to the top UI Ooh, that was in the wrong place uh, to um, to just clarify the fact that okay I now have one wraith and I'm in the lead too so it's it's showing that my you know my my one out of seven wraiths is highlighted versus everyone else's zero out of seven and hopefully it's pretty clear too that I have a red background in my player and the tall the player I just bound as a wraith also has a red background so that means they're on my team and hopefully that is clear it, it definitely was not clear before um, but hopefully it's a little bit more clear now that we've got rates up there on the menu and we've got the objective text showing and um, and there I found another one so I should have two rates now goes up to the UI boom it says two so yeah so there you go some clarifications to the game's objective and that works uh, no matter what mode you're in so in practice mode it's, it tells you what your objective is and in team mode it tells you what your objective is and then we've always got this wraiths um, up on the UI at the top there where it shows you how many wraiths you found and kind of gets the point across that um, if actually if I just start mining a crazy amount of wraiths here um, actually I haven't tested this yet but the point is once I once I've bound seven wraiths then the match ends or if anyone else finds wraiths too seven they win uh, where actually you're the MVP Technically, everyone is kind of a victor in the sense that you're on the same team at the very end. So, anything else? What? Well, gosh, what else did I have been doing here? Objective. This with the clarification of the health bars and the yeah, that's pretty much all of the that's been worked on lately. So, alrighty then. Um, thanks a lot for watching this video, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.